following me. Do you mind if I sit down for a minute? No, we can sit down. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get used to walking the cement all day. Yeah. Don't your feet hurt? I tell you, I'm so happy to be back on the beat. I don't even feel them. I can't believe they let us be partners again. Why? We were great in the academy. They're no dummies. <laughs> Hello. Nice to see you. Hi, Anna. Oh, how's it going? Well, all's quiet on the waterfront. Yeah, it must be the weather. A little too hot for the crooks to work. Well, I'm glad to hear it. So, what brings you down here? I came to see the harbor master, and I thought I'd welcome you back on the course if I saw you. Thanks. It's great to be back. Well, keep up the good work. All right. <laughs> oh, um, you know, Priscilla, if you're not doing anything tonight, maybe you and Felicia would like to come over for dinner? Oh, yeah, we'd love it. Great. Okay, Robin misses you. Tell her we'll be there. All right. <laughs> Bye-bye, you too. Cheers. Well, it looks as if you're back in Anna's good graces again. Yeah, it does look that way, huh? I hope you've learned your lesson. No more trying to go it by yourself. No, no. Completely team member all the way. Uh, are you giving up on that investigation of yours? Oh, let's just say I put it on hold, huh? I promise Felicia. <laughs> the role of Tuffy Richards is now being played by Kevin Hagan. I didn't know you were still here. Uh, yeah. I'm just finishing up. Oh, are you entering more union business statistics? That's right. Pension and welfare payments for the month, you know. Oh, I'd be happy to help you. No, thanks, Felicia. I'll manage. I'll be out of your way in a minute. Oh, you're not in my way. I'll just sit right here and make myself comfortable and do my own paperwork, all right? be calling by now? No, there's time before they close. Two, the deposit was made last night. Yeah, I know, but sometimes it's the afternoon before they get time to empty the night deposits. And if there's heavy traffic, then it can take longer. Be patient, then. It sure better work, Duke. It will work. When the bank discovers a shortage of $45,000, they'll be anxious to find out the reason why. You know, it shouldn't take long for the police to find out that Felicia took the money. Especially when they find that uh, fur in her apartment. Yeah. The frame will work, that's for sure. Yeah. And I'll definitely stop Frisco from playing super cop and getting himself killed. Afternoon. Damon, coffee? No, thank you. I just wanted to tell you there'll be a shipment arriving tonight. Will that be a problem? No. Why should it be? I'm under orders to take out Frisco Jones if there's any kind of trouble. Oh, Damon, Frisco Jones won't interfere. Oh, I hope not for your sake. Mr. B might think you're beginning to lose control of the operation in Port Charles. You can tell the chief I have everything under control, including Frisco Jones. He'd be more easy to convince if I knew exactly what you had planned for Frisco. Well, by the time the shipment arrives this evening, Frisco will be too preoccupied with personal problems to care. Well, I hope you're right. It disturbs Mr. B that Jones is back walking a beat on the waterfront with the shipment coming in tonight because it's the biggest one to date. Don't worry about it. Duke's got a lock on things. That's good. That's good, because you'll only have a few hours left. And at that point, I'll have to step in personally and check out Jones. Don't you interfere, Damon. The guards at the warehouse have a picture of our young super cop friend. And if he gets anywhere near that shipment, they will shoot to kill. Don't have the guards outside, then. Have the guards inside where they can't be seen. They know what to do. Angel, where's Tuffy? Upstairs, he's putting the new entries into Tumble Dry. Go get him. Tell him right. to check the EDZ warehouse. Make sure everything's clear for tonight. Right. And call Tessie while you're there. Make sure she's ready to call Frisco when I give the word. You got it. You really think it's a good idea to let Tessie on this plan? Oh, Tessie is the best one for the job. I think you better let me know what you got going on here. It's a simple plan to frame a cop's wife. 
By nightfall, the police will know that, that Felicia has stolen a very expensive mink coat, plus $45,000 in cash. Now, Frisco, he knows Tessie. When she calls and tells him to get Felicia out of town, he'll believe her. Duke, I'm not going to warn you again. If your plan doesn't work, Frisco Jones is a dead man. You in such a good mood in a long time, Frisco. Oh, that's because things are starting to go my way, that's all. Well, I'm glad for you. I hope you stop thinking about taking shortcuts, though. Shortcuts? Five years till I take the test for detective? That's too long for me. You have to take things one step at a time. I am. I just don't want to wait that long. As soon as I get my first call, I'll be on my way. Well, don't be so impatient about it. It's going to happen for you. Well, I just happen to be the impatient type every now. How'd you get your first collar? I don't know. How did it? Just happened. Turned the corner and there it was. Uh-huh. Well, some people have all the luck, I guess, right? Frisco, nobody's keeping score. You're gonna get your first collar. Might as well be guarding a school crossing. All the good I'm doing out here. What is that? You were here, he said he had a knife. Did you see it? No, I didn't. Did he cut you? I've never been so frightened in my life. Hey, take it easy. I didn't do anything. Yeah, well, tell that to the judge, huh? I was just asking for a handout. That's all. You just hand out, right? Ugh. Easy, huh? It's over, it's over, it's easy. Ugh. Yeah, well, I am now. I don't know how to thank you, officer. You might have killed me. You're not going to do anything. You will press charges, right? Oh, I certainly will. Okay, bud. You have the right to remain silent. If you give up the right to remain silent, anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, the court will appoint one for you. You understand the rights already? Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Crystal, you made your first caller. Yeah, wait till I tell Felicia, huh? <laughs> 